In today's video, we're going to look at how you add and subtract fractions. And there are really two key points you need to know. The first is that you have to have a common denominator, which means that the numbers on the bottom of your fractions need to be the same. And the second is that you only add or subtract the numerators, which are the numbers on top. So in this sum here, where we're trying to add three quarters and one third, the first thing we need to do is find a common denominator, which means that we need to make these two denominators the same number. The best way to do this is to find their lowest common multiple, or LCM, which is the smallest multiple that they both have in common. And so in this case, that's going to be 12. Now that we have the LCM, we can rewrite the equation, but with both of our denominators as the number 12. Then, because we've changed the denominators of our fractions, we're going to have to figure out what the new numerators will be. To get from 4 to 12, we've effectively multiplied it by 3. So we're also going to have to multiply the numerator of 3 by 3 as well, to get 9. This means that we've changed the 3 quarters into 9 twelfths. But that's absolutely fine, because they're both exactly the same value. 3 quarters is just a more simplified version. Then for this other one, to get from 3 to 12, we've multiplied it by 4. So we also need to multiply the 1 by 4 to get a new numerator of 4. And again, because we multiplied the numerator and the denominator by the same number, 1 third and 4 twelfths both have exactly the same value. Now that we've done the tricky part of getting a common denominator, all we have left is the easy part of adding the numerators together. So 9 plus 4, which gives us 13. And because we don't change the denominator, it'll be 13 over 12. And then it's always good to double check if your fraction can be simplified. But 13 over 12 can't be. So we leave that as our final answer. Now let's take a look at this subtraction question, where we've got to subtract 2 fifths from 5 thirds. Like before, the first step is to find a common denominator, which we do by finding the lowest common multiple of 3 and 5, which is 15. So we go ahead and rewrite our fractions with 15 on the bottom and figure out what the new numerators will be. To get 15, we have to multiply 3 by 5. So we also have to multiply 5 by 5 to get 25. And to get from 5 to 15, we've multiplied by 3. So we also multiply 2 by 3 to get 6. Then lastly, as we only subtract the numerators, we do 25 take away 6 to get 19 over 15. And again, we can't simplify that at all, so we leave that as our final answer. In case you didn't notice, 5 thirds is an improper fraction, because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. But this doesn't matter at all when you're adding or subtracting fractions. We just treat it like any other fraction. If we'd been given it in a mixed number form though, so 1 and 2 thirds, then we'd have needed to convert it into its improper fraction form first. Let's have a go at a couple more examples. So in this first one, we're trying to add 2 and 3 quarters, which is a mixed number, to 5 twelfths. The first step is to convert 2 and 3 quarters to its improper fraction form, which we do by multiplying the 2 by the denominator of 4 to get 8, and then adding that 8 to the numerator of 3, so that we get rid of the 2 and just have 11 over 4. Next, we need to find a common denominator. So we find the lowest common multiple of 4 and 12, which is 12 and then rewrite the question. To get from 4 to 12, 
we have to multiply by 3. So we also multiply the 11 by 3 to get 33 over 12. 5 twelfths already has a denominator of 12 though, so we don't need to do anything to that one. And we can just rewrite 5 over 12. Then last, we just add the numerators together. So 33 plus 5, giving us 38 over 12, which we can simplify down to 19 over 6. In this last one, we're doing 5 sixths minus 4 over 15. The lowest common multiple of 6 and 15 is 30. To get from 6 to 30, we have to multiply by 5. So we also multiply the 5 by 5 to get 25. To get from 15 to 30, we multiply by 2. So we also multiply 4 by 2 to get 8. Then by subtracting the numerators, we get 25 minus 8 to end up with 17 over 30. Anyways, that's everything for this video. So if you had any thoughts, then please do let us know down in the comments. And cheers for watching.